Hello, everyone, and welcome to English for You. I'm Pat, and I'm Mike. And today we're going to be introducing one of Taiwan's many national parks.、Ooh. There are quite a few there here are, in、yes. Taiwan. Which ones have you been to?、Uh, well, not this one. No, I'm really interested、Neither、in this、I. article. It sounds lovely and、mm-hmm. like a place I would want to visit. Let's see, where have I been? I've been to Taiping Shan. No, I've not done I've that one. I've been to Yanming Shan.、Uh, yeah, bits of that. I've been to Kending Shan. Well, yes, it's not、yep. a Shan. Hualien Shan. No, no. Hualien. Tyler Gu. Yeah. Penghu. I guess parts of Penghu must be、uh, national I, parks. I think they probably are. I've not yeah, been to、um, three.、Um, That's、um, no good.、Uh, Lu Dao. No,、nope, not been Green, there. Green Island. Green Island.、Um, Let's see where else.、Uh, oh, I've been around Turtle Island. Is Turtle Island near Suwao and Ilan? I've been there. Is that、no, a national park? It, but it's protected. It's a protected area. Yeah, I'm、so. not sure. So I think there's some of those. You covered a lot of them. Maybe a few others. Yeah. Not yeah. enough though. Yeah. There's obviously more places、yes. to see. Many more. Including this one that we're going to introduce in today's article. So let's read through day one and find out all about it. Reading. There's so much to see at Taijiang National Park. Taiwan has many sources of natural beauty, yet one place stands among the very best of Taiwan's naturally beautiful spots: Taijiang National Park. This park, located near Tainan City, is home to wetlands, sandbanks, lagoons, and fields of salt. It's worth a visit, as it's a truly arresting display of nature's beauty. The park is an impressive 393 square kilometers. Most of that is water, however, as only 49 square kilometers of it is land. For comparison, Taipei City is about 272 square kilometers. Taichung National Park has several special animals. And some of them are endangered. Fiddler crabs dig in the beach sand, while mud skippers are seen in and out of the water. Black-faced spoonbills can be found walking through the shallow water along the shore, hunting for food. The area officially became Taiwan's eighth national park in 2009, according to the government's website. Future plans for the area. Will focus on protecting three main things. These are its natural resources, such as salt and fish, its environmental geography, and its culture and history. So our article begins, kind of following on from what we've been talking about. Taiwan has many sources of natural beauty.、Mm. Sure, yeah, from the the kind of coastal cliffs、mm-hmm. on the beaches on the east side, the mountains in the center. You know, you've got plains, you've got forests, you've got stuff with snow on, all kinds of cool stuff to see, and the islands. That's true. Don't you can forget get, the islands, and you can get almost every season in these different places, depending on when you go. Yet one place stands among the very best. Of Taiwan's naturally beautiful spots, Taijiang National Park. That's、mm-hmm. what we're talking about today. Yeah, when we use the word "stands" like that, we mean kind of where it stands. Suppose there was a list, like a top ten of most beautiful.、Mm-hmm. This one stands near the top. It's、okay. very high on the list. That's、yes. what we mean. So let's learn about Taijiang, Taijiang National Park. This park, located near Tainan City, is home to wetlands,、mm. sandbanks, lagoons, and fields of salt. Oh, so,、okay. some very interesting. Pieces of land types. There, we're going to talk about a few of those in just a moment. First, let's look at the verb locate. It's located near Tainan. We use the verb locate to basically say where something is. Okay. Now, if you were using it in the active form, we're going to locate it here. Then we're talking about where we're going to put it. Where、mm-hmm. should we locate our restaurant? Which part of town? Which street? You know,、mm-hmm. where are we going to locate this particular business? So it gets a lot of customers. When we use it in the passive voice with be located in, on, or whatever, we're just saying where it is. It's located. Near this place, we're just saying 
it's there. So here's another example sentence: Tivoli Gardens is a famous old amusement park located in Copenhagen, Denmark. That's where it is. Yeah. So、oh. this、uh, this particular place, this national park, Taijiang. Is home to all kinds of cool stuff. It is absolutely, and we're going to explain this phrasal verb "be home to" right now. Now we use this phrasal verb "be home to" to talk about what a place has as its features. Maybe special features. Maybe the kind of things that. Tourists will go there from around the world to see. We are not using it to talk about where you live. You wouldn't really say this building is home to my family. I mean, you could, but that would be a weird of say, weird way of saying my family lives here or. This is my family's home. No, we use it more in a sort of world sense, in more of a tourism sense, in more of a way of drawing attention to special features. Hollywood is home to the American movie business. Paris is home to many of the world's most famous fashion companies. Or this night market, or this restaurant is home to the best sushi rolls in town. That's the way we would use it, talking about where you find something, or what are the special interesting. Unique features or things you can find in a certain place. Those things, well, this is their home. This is home to those things. So, what are the special things that Taijiang National Park is、mm. home to? Well, we mentioned the first one, wetlands. This is all one word, and as you can probably figure out, it's land and it's wet. It's basically a place where the land is covered by water, either all of the time or most of the time. Now we don't mean like a river here; we、mm. just mean a place where the, you can still see things poking up out of it—trees、mm-hmm. and bushes and、mm-hmm. flowers.、Mm-hmm. But there's a lot of water underground, a few paths going through it. Guandu wetlands up near、uh, Taipei, just outside of the main city of Taipei.、Mm-hmm. There's some there. There's all around, and these kind of places are always home to lots of wildlife. Plants, birds, insects, and stuff like that. Yeah, wetlands are very important for a clean environment. A lot of ducks, birds, frogs, animals like that live in wetlands, and they're often near rivers and lakes. But you definitely would see land, but it's definitely also too wet to build things on.、Mm. That's why we like to protect wetlands and leave them for the animals. Something else we find out there in nature, maybe also near the ocean, near a river or a stream or a lake, would be a sandbank. This is a small de- Deposit or a small amount of sand. It's probably been formed into a bit of a a hill, maybe a long hill that almost looks kind of like a shallow wall or something like that. And basically, it's created by the action of the water or the wind. It pushes the sand around. Sandbanks are a place you might go to find crabs or、mm-hmm. to dig in the sand. And of course, they're also things that can be dangerous for boats. Boats can hit hidden sandbanks under the water and get stuck. And things like that. Sandbanks move with the tides and the weather and the seasons, but they are definitely things we will find near or on the edge of large bodies of water, like oceans or lakes. And something else that's associated with water are these features called lagoons. We're learning a lot of good geography words、mm. today. Yeah, a lagoon is a fairly shallow body of water. They're not usually too deep, and it's separated from a larger one, often the ocean, the sea, or a large lake, by a narrow area of land. So you might have the sea coming in. There's a small area of land, and there's kind of a big still pool on the other side. It's not so affected by the tides. It's shallow. They're usually good places. For swimming or for、mm-hmm. animals to live in, that's a lagoon. That's right. Lagoons are often created by coral reefs. If、mm. a coral reef forms, and then there's an area in the middle where a lake can kind of be made, that would be a very typical tropical lagoon. All right, let's get back to the article. It, this wonderful national park, Taijiang National Park, it's worth a visit. As it's a truly arresting display of nature's beauty, so it's worth a visit. You should go visit there. You won't feel like you've wasted your time. You will enjoy it, and it has arresting views of nature. Now we're not talking about the police putting handcuffs on you and taking you away in a police car to jail. We're not arresting you like that. Arresting here means sort of it stops you in your tracks and it catches your attention. Wow, look at that! You say to your friend. As you、Gosh. stop, and all of your attention is focused on that. Arresting from a police. 
point of view is about stopping you and making sure you don't go anywhere. Well, this arresting view, you won't tie up your hands or go to jail, but it will stop you when you're walking around, get all of your attention, and make you focus on that. It's something that will really grab your attention, as we would say. For example, shoppers stopped to look at the arresting display of new fashions in the store's windows.、Ooh. Wow! Look at that! All the fashions, the way they're arranged—it's really amazing. Check、mm. it out. Yep, it is worth doing,、mm. and that use of worth of worth is today's language in focus. So let's check it out now. So the word worth can be used in a few different ways. It could be used to show value, the cost of something. Like this is worth 400 NT. This painting is worth a lot of money. It can be used to show the amount that something contributes to a thing. But here we're using it to say that this is something that should be done. It should be seen. And for food, oh, this is worth trying. It should be eaten. It's a good idea to eat it. We would advise it. You will get a lot out of it. It is. You can spend your time, and you won't feel like you've wasted your time eating, seeing, trying, doing this thing. And that's how we're using it in our article. So thinking about money, we could use a sentence like this. This old painting is worth a lot of money, but if we're using it to mean you should spend the time to take it in and experience it, we could say Taiwan's night markets are definitely worth a visit, or we could say or worth visiting. So you can follow it with a noun, a visit, or you can follow it with a ving verb. It's worth visiting, worth seeing, worth doing. All right, now let's talk about how big Taichung National Park is. We know there's a lot of cool things to see there, but what is its size? Well, we learn very accurately. It says the park is an impressive 393 square kilometers.、Mm-hmm. That's how big it is. Okay. What yeah, does you, that mean?、Um, Well, we're going to make big. it. Yeah, it's big. It's big. We'll make a comparison in a moment. Okay. But just we should also point out most of that is water. However,、ah, right, the yes, wetlands, wetlands, the lagoons. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. As only forty-nine square kilometers of it is land, so、oh. a much smaller area. All right. So it was what three hundred and ninety-three. Yeah. Now, yeah. How big is that? Well, here's a good way to kind of get an idea. It says for comparison. Taipei City is about 272 square、ah, kilometers. Okay, so it's about two thirds or 60 to 70 percent the same size. So this park is actually bigger than Taipei City、wow. if you look at it. At, look at it on a map. Yeah, with the water included. With、yeah. the water included. With land, whole, it's maybe more like a neighborhood. Ooh, much smaller. Yes, absolutely. This is a very interesting and useful comparison. A comparison is when you take two things and you talk about how similar or Or how much alike they are, and how different they are, and you point out the things that are similar, that are different. When you're buying things, when you're shopping for things, that kind of time, you might make comparisons. I like this one. I like that one. What about the price? How is it made? What is the color? Which one do I like better? Once I make the comparison, that is the one I will probably buy. For example, Stacy is a rich businesswoman. Her brother Ron, in comparison, is quite poor. So here are two people, but their brother and sister. They grew up in the same family, went to the same schools, and their lives are a little bit different now that they're grown up. And we see those are diff- there are differences there because we've made this comparison. So next, the article says Taijiang National Park has several special animals, and some of them are endangered. Of course, part of the idea of national parks that aren't just you know the countryside is to protect things,、mm. land, plants, birds, animals, insects, because many of these might be endangered. If an animal is endangered, then it's in danger of dying out. If we don't look after it, it could. Disappear from the wild, and there won't be any left to see. A lot of animals, rhinos, elephants,、mm. polar bears—they are all endangered. They need looking after. That's right. So cre- we create national parks and nature preserves and places like that because we want these animals to be around, and not just in zoos or in museums. We want them out there 
in the wild. Let's look at some of the interesting animals or the special animals that we will see in、uh, this park. It says fiddler crabs dig in the beach sand while mud skippers are seen in and out of the water. Okay, well these are two very unusual animals. Fiddler crabs, right? People know crabs. Fiddler crabs, I think, have one giant、yep. hand and one smaller hand. And mud skippers are interesting because they kind of look like fish. But they also walk around on the land.、Mm. They're very unusual animals. I think that are like millions of years old, and、mm -hmm. you don't see them everywhere in the world. So if you want to see these weird little walking fish, you might be lucky enough to see mud skippers down there in the park. And they also have some very impressive visitors、mm. a couple of times of year, don't they? Yeah. The article says black-faced spoonbills、mm. can be found walking through the shallow water along the shore. Hunting for bird,、uh, hunting for food.、Mm. So black-faced spoonbills are birds.、Mm. They're these quite rare birds, yeah, and birds. yeah, they're very large. They、uh, they are the kind of walking ones that will walk through the water looking for fish and insects and、mm. that kind of thing. And yeah, they're pretty special, pretty rare, and they only turn up. On rare occasions, yeah, they so, kind of fly through、yeah. Taiwan as they go north and south with the seasons. Yeah, people, you know, this is the sort of thing they get reported sometimes、yeah. in the news. Like,、yeah. oh, we've seen them this year. This、right. is a good time to see them. Yeah. Okay. Now they like to walk around in shallow water. What does that mean? Let's check out the word and find out. Okay. So shallow is an adjective and it means not deep. If there's a Area of water, beach, river, swimming pool, or whatever, and the water is very deep, and you people can stand in it, and they won't touch the bottom. It's deep water. But if they can stand in the water and it only comes up to their waist, we'd say this is shallow water. A lot of swimming pools are built with deep ends and shallow ends. Because the shallow ends are for people who are learning, and the deep ends are for people who can dive and swim and stuff like that. So we would say kids who can't swim should always stay at the shallow end of the pool. That's because they can put their feet down and their heads will still be above the water. All right, back to the article. We also learned that this national park, Taijiang National Park. Is actually a fairly new one in the list of Taiwan's national parks. It says the area officially became Taiwan's eighth national park in 2009.、Hmm. So they might have had a park there. They might have protected it. The local government might have been doing things to help nature and the animals. But when it became a national park, it's an official park. It might get money from the Taipei government to keep it nice, and of course. Tourists from all over Taiwan and the world probably will now have a better chance of knowing about it because it's one of the eight important national parks in the country. Yep, and if it's a national park, as Mike said, the government is going to be taking action to look、yeah. after it. We learn that according to the government's website, future plans for the area will focus on protecting three main things. We'll find out what they are in a moment, but let's focus on the phrase "focus on," and this means to concentrate on, to put some attention, some effort, to kind of really put this thing in the first place of importance compared to other things. Like, yeah, we'll do some other stuff, but these are the three main bits that will get our attention. Right. So, so what are they? Yeah, let's look at these three important things. They'll focus on these are its natural resources such as salt and fish. Okay. Its environmental geography. Yep. And its culture and history. Okay. So basically, the land, the animals, and also the culture and the history of the park. Let's talk about that big word there, environmental. Anything to do with the environment, the natural world around us, from the air and rain and water to the ground to the animals to the soil to the trees. All of that is the environment. Okay. When we talk about pollution and global warming and all of these problems. We're talking about environmental problems. Problems in the environment. The environment is unhealthy, dirty. It's getting worse. It's causing all sorts of problems for people and animals. So, environmental policy and environmental issues are very big these days. Let's talk about a place that's very important for the environment: the Great Barrier Reef. Has seen a lot of environmental damage、mm. over the past two decades. So they've had a lot of damage to the environment there, and of course, that big reef near Australia is a wonderful place for nature, or it should be. But they've had some damage. Yeah, and here we're talking about Taijiang's 
、uh, environmental geography.、Mm. Now, by geography, we mean the physical features of an area. Yeah. You know, where are the mountains and how high are they? Where are the rivers and which way do they flow? Where are the plains? That kind of thing. Here, they're focusing on the environmental geography, so we can take this to mean they really want to focus on preserving the wetlands,、mm. looking after the lagoons, keeping everything in the right order, making sure the water doesn't drain away, and all that kind of stuff. For the word geography, we could say Taiwan may be a small country. But it has some really interesting geography. So, just like we mentioned at the start, you can see all the seasons. You can see mountains and forests and beaches and cliffs and all kinds and tropic, almost tropical islands. There's a lot of great stuff to see. Now we're going to talk a bit more about Taijiang National Park tomorrow. Right now, though, it's time for our for you chat question. For you chat. So our question today is: Have you been to Taijiang National Park, or would you like to talk about it? I just nodded my head. I、yep. said no,、nope. and yes,、okay. no.、There、I've never been there. Yes, I would like to. I would like to go there because I've never heard of it.、Mm-hmm. Um, I would like to go there because a lot of the national parks in Taiwan, although they're very beautiful, they're often in kind of mountain areas. I'm、mm. thinking Ali Shan, Yu Shan, Hualien, places、mm-hmm. like that. So this is kind of interesting. It's quite different and. I can't really think of many national parks that I've been to that are down, you know, by the ocean with wetlands and lagoons and things like that. The national parks in Canada, of course, most of them are big forests and、mm-hmm. things like that. So yeah, I think it sounds interesting, mainly because. I've never heard of it, and I think there would be a lot of interesting things to see there. Yeah, I think pretty much any national park is going to be worth a few trips. Some, some you'll go to, you know, you'll go back and you'll go back and you'll go yeah, back, like、sure. every year. It's to, big to check it out, to see different bits, to、mm-hmm. go to favorite spots. So, yeah, if if the weather's nice and you've got, you know, family activity, a walking activity, just go and see what's there.、Why、you'll、not? probably see something new, experience something different.、True. Absolutely, and if you go at a different time. Times of the year, you could see what yeah, it's like in different、right. seasons, as you say. That's a great idea. Okay, well, that's all the time we have for today. But join us again tomorrow for part two of our article about Taijiang National Park. See you then. Bye for now. Take care. Vocabulary review. Locate. Locate. It's easy for me to get to work. Because my office is located very close to an MRT station. Arresting. When Paul first saw Catherine, he couldn't speak because of her arresting good looks. Comparison. Many people drew comparisons between Madonna's and Lady Gaga's songs. They found some similarities between them. Shallow. The swimming coach told Tommy to practice in the shallow end of the pool because he couldn't swim well yet. Environmental. The environmental group is asking people to use less water and power this summer. Geography. Brian knows the geography of this area well, such as how many rivers there are. 小蝴蝶 Wetland, lagoon, endangered. The show program is by Huayong Kongzhong Meiyu. Huayong Kongzhong Meiyu Magazine. Please search all the local bookstores. 如欲索取视听教材，请来电零二二三六四四零零零零二二三六四四零零零，或上网查询，网址是 triple w dot english 四 u dot net triple w dot english 四 u dot net。